Normally, Helen would be here, but she's on vacation, so she'll be back very shortly. Uh, Celeste is here, um, our music director, and, and so we have some other members of the board of directors. Um, this, this, welcome, this is the last summer weekend of 2024. Interesting that um, this is the start of our fall 2024 program, and the Friends of Maple Grove is celebrating their 24th anniversary. Wow. Um, and, and the cemetery will be celebrating 150 next year. So, uh, just to let everyone be aware, um, we do have a new president of the Friends of Maple Grove. I did step down after 15 years. Um, and basically, the, the idea was, it's not a retirement, because I'm still working here every day, um, but it's, we need new blood, new people, and if I want to see the friends continue for 25 years and beyond, we need new people. Yeah. So, Sharia, who can't be here today, Hussein is our new uh, president. Um, and so, first of all, a couple of things I have to do with the housekeeping rules. Um, please sign cell phones. Okay. There are no uh, food or beverages allowed in this um, hall. Okay. There will be a reception after the concert downstairs in our gallery. All right. Um, uh, in our art gallery, uh, we also are expecting our um, artist of the month, and that's Bill Wiggins, and you'll see his paintings downstairs. Uh, we also have two other exhibits, actually it's three. Um, on the wall, by the entrance, there is Rita Wilmer's paintings. Uh, over here we have the artist Wong, the Chinese artist, and his work is here. And then we have the work, the photography of uh, Ganesh, who uh, gave a lecture once about his travels around the world. Okay, trash receptacles are downstairs, they're outside as well. Uh, so please don't put any cups on the um, tables or, or on the plants, which have to be plenty. Oh uh, yeah, we'll walk, yeah. Uh, the gates. The gates will close at six o'clock. The concert will be ending around six. Then we have the reception. Okay. So, but we have the keys. So we'll let you out from that entrance. Or uh, Queens Boulevard will be closed. That gate will be closed. Leopards will be closed as well. Okay. And we have membership forms downstairs. Uh, that's how you support our the friends group. As as you know, it's a free concert. We have uh, 180 right now. We're, we're having 180. We're hoping for 200 by the end of the year. And some of our, just to highlight, as Helen does, I have some, she's very good at the calendar. There is a, um, a calendar that goes for the rest of the year uh, that's outside. And there's some flyers outside as well. Okay. Tomorrow, please, um, we have the Living Historians. And they're going to, it's 1,500 years of history. We have five historians. And they're going to be dressed up as medieval knights, uh, Vikings, okay, the um, 16th, century, 16th century navigation pirates, and also the um, uh, Roman legionnaires and medieval Spain. So they, and the Hundred Year War and a Spanish conquistador. So they do dress up in in, in the costumes, and they will lecture and give you a talk about. Uh, that time period. So that's it. And it, it help, it's a free event and it'll support us and it is by the old building. Um, there's a flyer also for the Dance Floor Democracy, which is a um, which is on Saturday, 928, which is a wonderful event and it has dancing and it highlights the 49 soldiers who were killed in action in World War II that are buried here. And it's a way to honor them by the, the morale builder of that time period, which was music and dance. We will have a big band. We will also have a dance lessons from that time period. So it, it's a wonderful event. Please come to that one. Um, it is, there's a small charge because of the big band, five piece band. Um, $15 for um, non-members, $10 for members, okay? Um, there's also, um, we have another artist next month, Jennifer uh, Lambert. We also have an Italian American Heritage Month concert. You want to say a word about that one? We'll be covering music both classical and to modern times and including uh, more national music. Uh, with, uh, we have the 
available for you players joining us as well as classical musicians. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then on October 6th, coming up short, as short stories from the seance report <laughs> by the members of the Horror Writers Association. <laughs> so welcome to come to that one. And then there's the um, happiness in the book called Happiness in the Long Run by Bill uh, McBride and his wife Irene, who does the chair yoga at the different libraries in the, in the area. So they'll be, he'll be reading from his book. And then we have our famous trunk or treat um, on uh, October 26th. Okay, and the rest of the calendar, I'm not going to read everything to you, so we have everything there. Okay, first thing I want to do is the dedication, and it's in the inside page of your front cover, and that's to Captain Holly Curtis, who was born in 1818, died April 1st, 1880. He was a captain, Holly Curtis was commanded boats for Askan Bacchus, and you know Bacchus, Askan Avenue in Forest Hills, mm -hmm. that where he lived. Uh, Esquire, its first packet was the George Allen, which capsized in Hell's Gate on uh, July 1877. It was salvaged and as reported in the Newtown Register newspaper on 21 May 1878. The new um, white pot deck, uh, dock constructed by Askan Bacchus. It is completed and the packet uh, slope, the George Allen, um, has commenced her annual trip between here and New York City. All right, Captain, um, he commanded out, and one of his ships was named for his wife, Marion Curtis, and that's in the rest of the bibliography uh, bibli about him. So we honor him. So every event we do, the Friends honors someone that's buried here. Okay, now for this concert here, we have an introduction about the story of New York. Is someone talking? I'm sorry, thank you. Sorry, sorry. 40 years of being a school teacher. <laughs> Again, it's, it's still in my blood. Okay, now, here we are. 400 years ago, on April, I'm sorry, 500 years ago, on April 17, 1524, Italian navigator Giovanni de Verrazzano, working for France, was the first European to sail into the harbor that is known today as New York Harbor, which we could have seen from the hills that are here as he entered that harbor. He wrote down two small but prominent hills on either side of a very wide river. The hill to his left, he was referring to Staten Island, and the hill to his right would have been Long Island, specifically Brooklyn. 100 years later, the Dutch colony of New Netherland was established by the Dutch West India Company in 1624, 400 years ago, and grew to encompass all of present-day New York City and parts of Long Island, Connecticut, and New Jersey. On May 20, 1624, a group of Dutch settlers landed on Governor's Island. They started construction of a fort with African slaves forced to build a wall defending the, the town. They named their settlement New Amsterdam, founded on the southern tip of Manhattan, and it was incorporated as a city by 1653. By the early 1600s, Manhattan had a population of 1,500 Europeans. <laughs> Half of them were Dutch, along with 375 Africans, 300 of whom were enslaved. Over the 40 years, 40 years that the Dutch controlled the land, they expanded and had other settlements that were developed. Some Dutch names still remain, like Flushing, Harlem, and Brooklyn. The oldest surviving building built in this Dutch settlement is the Peter um, Wyckoff House, which is in Brooklyn, which was date, date back to 1652. And then in 1664, after 40 years of Dutch rule, um, four English frigates arrived demanding New, England, New Netherlands surrender, which they did. Soon after, the city was renamed New York in honor of James, the Duke of York, brother of King Charles II, marking the start of the English rule. Let us not forget the people who are living here in this era for over 13,000 years before. Before the Europeans arrived, the land we call Long Island 
was home to the indigenous tribes called the Kanasi and Rockaway. They lived off the land, hunting, fishing, and cultivating crops. The island known as Pamarok, meaning island that pays tribute, was rich in wildlife. An ancient trail served as a vital trade route connecting people from Long Island to as far as Ohio and the Great Lakes. We know the name of that ancient trail because it's called Jamaica Avenue. In 1656, English settlers asked the Dutch to establish a settlement on Long Island and they named it Rostov, a Dutch name for quiet village. After the English took control of New Amsterdam in 1664, the town was renamed Jamaica, Jamaica, indigenous word for, from the Canarsie tribe, meaning place of the beavers. By 1683, Jamaica was part of Queens County, laying the foundation for today's Richmond Hill and Kew Gardens. Now, um, I'd like to take a few minutes uh, to talk about the 150th anniversary of Maple Grove, as I mentioned. And we are working on a number of projects, and next year there's going to be a special calendar about that. And there are a number of events that are happening for that anniversary. Um, I'd like to announce one unique <coughs> book project that will be published in Memorial Day 2025. How many people here are from Kew Gardens? Okay. Now, the book that's being made, and all, I have a, I put together a little tiny sample of the book. And, oh, sorry. This is just a little sample, just a few things. And you know where this monument is. It's right by the Homestead Retirement Home. It's on Lefties, and it's behind those newspaper stamps that they have. Okay, so, um, so what, we're gonna, what we're doing is that this book will be a gift to our longtime neighbor, the community of Kew Gardens. Maple Grove was, around, was already 35 years old when the community of Kew Gardens was established. The book will memorialize and honor the 27 names that are on that monument. And they were the names of those who were killed in action, who were Kew Gardens residents. And I wanted to read just one of the 27 that we put together. And a great help has been Patricia Klein. There's one who <laughs> acknowledged. But she's been helping us type doing a lot of typing. If you pass by the monument, please look for the name James Tapalian. He was a corporal, Army Air Corps. James was the son of Oshkosh and Elbris Topalian of 8409 Talbot Street. And they had, he had three younger brothers, Archibald, Charles, and Donald. The father was born in Turkey and was a rug dealer. His mother, atten uh, he atten I'm sorry, she, the mother, Mrs. Topalian, was involved with the Armenian Ladies Orphan Relief Society. James attended the Q Forest School and was a member of the school's football, soccer, and tennis teams. James went to the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and was a graduate of the University of Alabama. In 1940, he, was, he enlisted in the Army Air Corps. He was with the 7th um, Weather Squadron. And, let's see, what's wrong? And his family received a letter dated December 3rd, 1941, promising Christmas presents for everyone in his family. And he added at the bottom, perhaps we will be at war soon. <laughs> James, who's on that memorial, James died on December 7th, 1941, and was killed at Hickman Field in the attack at Pearl Harbor. And he's one of those sons. He's a Cuban Garden son. And, and James was 26 when he died. So that's just one biography of the 27. And that book will be published and will be ready for Memorial Day. And we hope that our, our scouting troop will be there. We'll have a parade and do 
and we'll hand that book over to the community of you guys. Okay? So. <laughs> No, that's it. Um, uh, Jess um, Rogers won't be able to join us, so we're, we won't be performing Heart of Glass, but we will be performing everything else. Uh, we will have a short intermission, 10 minutes in the middle of our program. Just remember, that camera keeps running, so if you do need to use restroom, please use the side aisles. Uh, we try to sequence this uh, program um, from historically starting with a Dutch lullaby all the way to uh, 1990s music. So, I hope you enjoy our concert today. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. I have the honor of kicking the program off because, in fact, my mother is Dutch and her mother before her and so on. Of course, she came over in 1951, not the 1400s, just to, to <laughs> um, But uh, this is a classic Dutch lullaby that she sang to me and I sang to my children and likely it was sung here uh, centuries ago because it's just a customary Dutch lullaby and it's about, uh, the, the Dutch are very agricultural and it's just saying sleep child sleep, outside is a sheep, the sheep is drinking the milk, outside is a brown cow drinking the milk, close your eyes now and go to sleep. So it's, for a little song to start the day. Okay. I'm just doing it. I can know. Slaap, kindje, slaap. Naar water loopt een schaap. Een schaap met witte voetjes. Dat drinkt zijn milk zo zoetjes. Slaap, kindje, slaap. Slaap, kindje, slaap. Daar water loopt een schaap. Daar buiten loopt een bokenkaal, kindje doet je oogje staal. Slaap, kindje, slaap, slaap, kindje, slaap. Slaap, kindje, slaap, daar buiten loopt een schaap. Een schaap met witte voetjes, daar denk ze willen zo zoetjes. Slaap, kindje, slaap.
walk with sticks around their mitts. Abraham Elstein for music, and Molly Pecan for the Yiddish lyrics. Um, Molly Pecan was an actress who first starred in Yiddish theater in New York, and then became a famous movie star. She was the first American-born Yiddish performer to rise to fame, starring in countless plays, operettas, reviews, musicals, and films, as well as writing plays and lyrics. Uh, one of her best-known film roles was as Yenta the Matchmaker in the 1971 film adaptation of the Broadway hit Fiddler on the Roof. So this song was written for the popular 1938 film Mamala and starred Molly Pakan. And the Yiddish meaning of a bigazunt, which can also, by the way, be pronounced a bigazint, uh, translate as long as you're healthy. <laughs> meaning that good health is all that is really needed for happiness. So, if you have a little sun, place to race, rest your head, shoes, socks, clothes with no patches, a few coins in your pocket, and a drink once in a while with good friends, then that plus good health, ah, that's all you need. So I'm gonna be singing this song uh, with both the Yiddish and English lyrics. So um, here's to good health, everyone. <laughs> A shook, a zack, a klein in lattice, in cashine, a trefius lattice, a big zint, can manglick lech sein. Die Luft is frei, war jegen glei, die Sun si scheint war jegen, ein emor mor reich, 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 a bissel frein, a bissel. A big is it, can and let lock sign. A little sun, rain may follow. A quiet place where things are mellow. If you have your health, then thank your lucky stars. A shoe, a sock, clothes with no patches. A little change to buy what's lacking. If you have your health, Stars. The air is free for rich and poor. The sun shines bright for all the people. Just open, open, open the door. A little joy, a little laughter. A drink with friends, more fun thereafter. If you have your health, then thank your lucky stars. I never made don't glance a glick, had no hobbit guilt. I'm not at the Pyrrhus, so in all Griechen, nor it tracked by me. If tarf does so if Kapuras file, to split stein by my tear. A missile's in, a missile's in. 
song from a classic New York musical, uh, On the Town, written by Leonard Bernstein. Uh, so the show centers around three American sailors on a 24-hour shore leave um, in New York City in 1944 during World War II. The musical was adapted into a movie in 1949, starring some big stars like Gene Kelly and Frank Sinatra. I'll be singing the song I Could Cook Too, which in the show is sung by a female taxi driver named Hildy. Mag 
magazine covers. Some girls keep house on a dime. Some girls make wonderful lovers. But what a lucky find out. I'd make a magazine cover. I do keep house on a dime. I make a wonderful lover. I should be paid over time. Cause I could break two on top of the lot. My oven's the hottest you'll find. Yes, I can roast two. My chickens just ooze. My gravy will lose at your mind. I'm a brand new nut on the table dot. But just try me a la carte. With a single course, you could choke a horse. Baby, you won't know where to start. Oh, I'm an order, a jelly preserve. Not in the recipe book. How much more, baby, I can cook. I'm a part of joy for a hungry boy. Baby, I'm cooking with gas. Oh, I'm a gum drop, a sweet lollipop, a brick trap right out of the brook. wonderful jivers. Some girls can hit a high C. Some girls make good taxi drivers. But what a genius is me. I make a wonderful jiver. I even hit a high C. I make the best taxi driver. I ain't a big Navy because I can fly too. On top of the heap, my crease goes as deep as a pool. Yes, I can boil too. My ribs win applause. My lamb chops will cause it a drool. For a pickled sweet, for a candied beet, step up to my smorgasbord. Wrap around until you get your fill. Baby, you'll never be bored, cause I'm a pate, a marrow blase. musicals, a little show called Guys and Dolls. Um, it was written by Frank Lesser, who grew up on the Upper West Side of Manhattan, and it's an adaptation of Damon Runyon's short stories, which involve gangsters and gamblers of the 1920s and 1930s in New York's underworld. And in it is one of my favorite characters in the whole canon of musical theater. Her name is Miss Adelaide. Um, so Adelaide is in love with Nathan Detroit, a gambler, and she's been engaged to him for 14 long years. Can you imagine? 14 years, I mean, come on. I think it's safe to say he has a few commitment problems. <laughs> well, remember in the other song, we talked about uh, happiness, you can be happy with good health? Well, Adelaide is miserable. <laughs> She has developed a chronic cold and cough, and she doesn't know why that is, so she decides to look it up. And back in 1950, when this show opened on Broadway, they did not have Google. So she had to go to the medical books. So let's see what our handy Merck manual has to say. <laughs> The average unmarried female, basically insecure, 
due to some warm frustration, may we act with psychosomatic symptoms. Difficult to endure, affecting the upper respiratory tract. In other words, just from waiting around for that plain little band of gold, a bison can develop a cold. You could spray it wherever you figure the streptococci likes. You could give her a shot for whatever she's got, but it just won't work. If she's tired of getting a fish eye from a hotel clerk, a bison can develop a cold. says here, the female remaining single, just in the legal sense, shows a neurotic tendency. See note, see note, see note. Oh, note. <laughs> Clever. Chronic organic syndromes. Toxic or hypertense. Involving the eye, the ear, the nose, and throat. <gasps> In other words, just from wondering whether the wedding is on or off, a person <coughs> can develop a cough. You could feed her all day with the vitamin A and the bromo fizz, but the medicine never gets anywhere near where the trouble is. If she's getting a kind of a name for herself, and the name ain't his, a person can develop a book. <coughs> and furthermore, just from stalling and stalling and stalling the wedding trip, a person can develop a grip. When they get on the train for Niagara, and she can hear church bells chime, the compartment is air conditioned and the moon's climb. Then they get off in Saratoga for the 14th time. A bison can develop a grip, a grip, a post nasal trip with the wheezes and the sneezes and the sinus that's really a pip. From a lack of community property and a feeling she's getting too old, a bison can develop a big, bad cold. Three, four. You can dance every dance with the guy who gives you the eye, let him hold you tight. You can smile every smile for the man who held your hand, he can pay him on life. But don't forget who's taking you home or in who's eye. You're gonna be so, darling. Say the last dance for me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know, oh, I know that the music's fine, like sparkling wine. Go and have your fun. We'll laugh and sing, yes, I know. But while we're apart, don't give your heart to anyone. And don't forget who's taking you home Or in whose arms you're gonna be So darling, say the last dance for me Baby, don't you know I love you so Can't you feel it when we touch I will never ever let you go I love you oh so much but you can dance, dance till the night is gone and it's time to go.
going home If he asks If you're all alone Can he take you home You must tell him no Cause don't forget He's taking you home Or in his arms You're gonna be So darling Save the last dance For me That's right story. Maria, the most beautiful sound I ever heard. Maria, 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 all the beautiful sounds of the world in a single word. Maria, 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 Maria. I just met a girl named Maria, and suddenly that name will never be the same to me. Maria, I just kissed a girl named Maria. And suddenly I found how wonderful a sound can be. Maria, say it loud and there's music playing. Say it soft and it's almost like praying. Maria, I'll never stop saying Maria.
one down? All right. David's playing rhythm guitar for us here. And All right, we're all set here? Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Feel free to sing along. Here we go. We'd like to know a little bit about you for our fathers. We'd like to help you learn to help yourself. Look around you while you see our sympathetic eyes. Stroll around the grounds until you feel at home and here's to you. Robinson, Jesus loves you more than you will know. 
Sit in your pantry with your cupcakes It's a little secret, just a Robinson's affair Most of all, you've got to hide it from me If you could choose it, Robinson Jesus loves you more than you will know but she was from the different borough, Staten Island.
So we are skipping hard blast, so sadly Jess is not here. We're moving on to stay alive. So who was here during the fiscal era? One person? Yeah. yeah. Black platform heels? The 1970s. Okay. Who was around during the 1970s fiscal era? This one from Saturday Night Fever, classic New York, New York film. Let's see if we can channel the Bee Gees.
that I go by the unforgettable name of the man they call the Master Key. Well, my name is known all over the world by all the foxy ladies and the pretty girls. I'm going down in history as the baddest rapper that could ever be. Now I'm feeling the highs and you're feeling the lows. The beat starts getting into your toes. You start popping your fingers and stomping your feet and moving your body while you're sitting in your seat. And then, yeah, you start doing the freak. I said, damn. Of your seat and just throw your hands high in the air. You rock it to the rhythm, shaking hairy hair. You rock it to the beat without a care. With the short shot, MC's for the affair. Now I'm not as tall as the rest of the game, but I rap to the beat just the same. I got a little face and a pair of brown eyes, and all I'm here to do, ladies, is hypnotize. Singing on and, and on and on and on and on. The beat don't stop until the break is done. I'm singing on and, and on and on and on and on like a hot, but it a pop, the pop, the pop, they will never pop, they will pop. You don't dare to stop and come alive, y'all. Give me what you got. I guess by now you can take a hunch and find that I am the baby of the bunch. But that's okay, I'll keep a stride. Cause all I'm here to do is just wiggle your behind. Singing on and, and on and on and on and on. The beat don't stop until the break is dawn. Singing on and, and on and on and on and on. Rock, y'all. Throw it on the floor. I'm gonna freak you here. I'm gonna freak you there. I'm gonna move you out of this atmosphere. Cause I'm one of a kind and I'll shock your mind. I'm about to tick, tick, tick. It's in your behind. Come on, girls, get on the floor. I come alive, y'all. Get in what you got, cause I'm guaranteed to make you rock. I said, I guarantee I'm gonna make you rock. I said, one, two, three, four. Tell me, wonder why, what are you waiting for? I said, it is hot. They hit, 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 hop, and you don't stop rocking to the bang, bang, boogie, this up, jump the bullet to the rhythm of the foot of the beat. A skibbity bee, Bobby, we rock the Scooby Doo. And guess what, America? We love you. I'm so glad we brought the album behind the camera.
I've seen all the movie stars in their fancy cars and their limousines. Been high in the Rockies under the evergreens. But I know what I'm needing, and I don't want to waste more time. Thank you. 